Ahora, espera. After spending a month on Once Upon a Time, a scary trad climb that really pushed my limits in every way imaginable, I needed a mental and emotional break to recharge. Of course, as a traveling climber who makes a living from her YouTube films about climbing, I felt a bit stuck. And on top of that, I suddenly felt a lot of pressure to live up to new expectations, both the ones I felt people had on me and those I had placed on myself, which of course, if you think about it, are both completely internally charged. So I decided what I needed was to take a few weeks to boulder with friends in Albaracin, and to catch up on some work I had let slip behind. A self-love mission, so to speak. I had two rules. One, I wasn't going to care about the grades. And two, I wasn't there to make any films. I was just there to live in the moment and enjoy the wonderfully childlike silliness and human connection that bouldering has to offer. So I didn't ask people to film my climbs. I barely looked at the guidebook and I expelled any self-imposed responsibility to grab footage. Oh, the irony, <laughs> because when one is psyched and when one meets psyched friends, sometimes magic happens. And then I get excited to edit, and now here we are with lots of phone footage of me surrounded by love, friendship, and joy. This is only a fraction of the climbs I did, and since this trip was ultimately for me, I have failed to remember most of the names and grades of these problems. So feel free to comment a timestamp and the name of the boulder if you know it. Maybe together we can complete this video. Lastly, a huge thank you to Victor y Ricky for sending me their beautiful Catalunian music for this video. Gracias chicos, abrazos grandes! Ella va a la donde vos te por robar una cartera. Ella va a la 
Amy, that's not the Vita for you. Back. Right at the back. No? Wait, what? What is this? <laughs> Well, 
<laughs> Come on. Ay, ay, ay. Yeah. <laughs> 